What's up, Sagittarius? This is Obsidian Little Cell. I'm here to do your September mid-month for 2020. Before we get started, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment on my channel to show your love and support. Also, if you'd like to donate to my channel or contact me for any reason, that information is going to be in the description box below. Um, so before we get started, guys, I want to talk about the three cards that I pulled from my Starseed Oracle deck for you. Um, and then we'll actually get into the reading. And these two cards kind of fell out when I was shuffling anyway, preparing for the reading. So I just feel like there's an energy of somebody that's been a lot, like trying to leave a situation and feeling a lot of anxiety. Um, doesn't necessarily have to be a relationship. We'll see um, once we get into the reading, guys. Um, but I feel like there's just a situation that you're trying to leave and you can't. Um, and it's causing you a lot of stress, whether it's like financial stress, um, Okay, it could be an Aries that you're in conflict with. It doesn't have to be, though. But um, I feel like there's just an energy of maybe not being able to financially do something that you need to do right now, too, to make whatever change that you need to make. Um, empathic starseed, child of the cosmos, and then um, bringing unconsciousness to light. So basically, I feel like for you, possibly, um, you might need to take a trip by water, um, maybe to get some clarity about some things in your life, maybe, um, whatever, like bringing unconsciousness to light. So to me, that basically speaks of like, you know, sometimes there are things that we're not necessarily conscious of that, um, things that are thought things are going on in our subconscious or, um, basically you're only, what is the analogy? You're only aware of what you're conscious of, right? So um, I feel like it's maybe like a shift in perspective or something for you. Um, you know, maybe getting by water will be good for you, Sagittarius, um, to maybe like clear your mind, just take a day trip, maybe to the beach or to a lake or something. Um, we have the child of the cosmos. So this is intelligence of the universe lies within you. So this basically says to me, like, um, you know, the answers are with it, within you. And this is what I tell anybody or I say a lot of times in my tarot readings, too. Um, you know, I suggest that people pray, that people meditate, because a lot of times the answers that you're seeking, if you're going around asking everybody, you know, really, ultimately, you have to make that decision within yourself, right? Um, and so all the answers that you're seeking are actually within yourself as well. Empathic star seed. This is energetic sovereignty absorbing not, what's not yours. And I don't know. I feel like all three of the readings I did tonight or maybe, I don't know, two. Um, but this is coming out for everybody. So I feel like whatever's going on energetically right now, a lot of people, especially if you're um, a star seed, empathic, um, you're really having to be careful. And I feel like it's just because of what's going on in the world about absorbing other people's energy right now. It's really easy for me to do. I can be around somebody maybe that's going around, going through a hard time or feel somebody's energy that's going through a hard time and it can actually make me cry. So I feel like if somebody else is that empathic, yeah, you're absorbing all that stuff too. Do cleanses, sage, take spiritual baths. Um, when you get home, if you've been around other people or somebody that you've been, you've been absorbing a lot of their energy, you know, sage yourself, take a shower, clean that energy, um, pray, meditate, but like make sure that you're really also creating boundaries in your life that kind of prevent you from prevent it. If, if it's something that is causing some sort of a situation for you, um, spiritually, that's kind of not working for you, you know, find boundaries, right? So, um, if it means only hanging around that friend, maybe instead of all day long, maybe only for a couple hours or an hour, whatever it is that you have to do to keep yourself from absorbing all this stuff that's not yours, okay? I'm going to get my deck out and see what messages we have for you, Sagittarius, for the month of September 2020. I'm going to go ahead and shuffle my cards. Spirit angels, ancestors, guides, please provide us with any messages for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising for the month of September 2020. Messages for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising for the month of ooh, September 2020. Page of Wands. So, ooh, okay. There's been some sort of an ending for you, Sagittarius. This is fire energy. Um... You're coming out of a painful ending. Could have been a divorce involving children. Okay. You have a page of wands. News about a child. Okay. 
All right, so. This is the energy, overall energy of the reading. This is the Two of Swords. This is making a decision. It could be involving an air energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, but it's also just you deciding between two different things, right? Um, there's She's got her eyes closed, so it's really like, you know, and two swords out, um, standing in this water, it's emotion, even though, you know, it's the swords, it's, it's, and it's an emotional decision that you're having to take some sort of deep thought on making, right? So I feel like with the 10 of swords here, whatever happened, it was extremely painful for you. Um, I feel like it was involving children, a decision about children, possibly could be an ex that has, um, tried to, um, hold children like over your head, use it as manipulation, not let you see children because of whatever situation might not have worked out with the two of you in a relationship. Okay. I'm going to get my clarifying deck out and see what the nine of swords is for you Sagittarius. Oh my God. If I can shuffle. <laughs> What is this Nine of Swords for Sagittarius for September 2020? I really feel like this is an energy. You're not in the Nine of Swords energy anymore. You're not losing sleep anymore. You got a message about some stuff. Possibly, maybe there's going to be some sort of a schedule that's better for you. That Yeah. Okay, we have the Ten of Cups, um, Ten of Pentacles, and the Magician. So, I feel like you've just worked really hard in the recent past, Sagittarius, at really changing your financial life, um, your emotional life, okay, being happy. I feel like whatever the situation was hurt you tremendously, but you're coming out of that energy, right? Um, double tens. Ooh. Okay. And I just, Ooh. Okay. <laughs> That's crazy. Double 10. So, and then the emperor and the empress. So I feel like you could possibly have like a twin flame coming in for you. If you've done a lot of work. Yeah. This is the eight of eight of, uh, pinnacles. So you've been all about the bag. Okay. So you have really worked hard at financially, um, getting yourself together, possibly Sagittarius. And, um, now you have this emperor em emperor empress energy coming in okay so i feel like if this person isn't around they are coming towards you this energy okay but you basically manifested this ten of cups abundance in your life right um coming out of this painful ending um we have the four of swords in reverse so this is you coming out of really taking some time um before you know or just taking time when you were working hard to really like focus on yourself okay this is coming out of um not having full clarity coming out of this situation though not having full clarity yet about where you feel like you want to go could be involving an air sign what is this four of swords energy queen of wands but in reverse so it could be another fire sign very attractive um Hmm. All right, so you you want a new beginning with somebody from the past too, I feel like. Strength could be a Leo. It's taking you a lot of strength not to um, go back to this person too from a, the past. Maybe they're a Leo or want to. Um... What is this? Okay, the tower over my clarity and then the two of pentacles. So I feel like this is basically saying that, you know, you've had, um, you were unsure about making a decision and it caused um, a tower moment, I feel like, for you or is. There's been some sort of a manipulation from the past um, that is kind of causing, keeping you from having Okay, so whatever the situation was for you, Sagittarius, I'm picking up, there's still some kind of manipulation from this person who's trying to keep you from, like, moving on and doing your thing, right? And having a new beginning with somebody. Um, it's almost an energy, I feel like, for somebody, like, they, it's like they can't have you, they don't want anybody else to have you. 
you know? So you're having to like exude like a lot of strength right now. Cause you're just like, no, fuck now. Like you, somebody fucked with like somebody's emotions really hard with children. And I feel like that's just something that this person feels like they can't um, forgive. Right. Um, so you're having in the external energy though, because of this hesitation, I feel like whoever this is, this energy, if you're not already involved or they're looking at the outside situation and thinking that you're still interested in this person because of this other person's actions, the way they make the situation look, this is manipulative behavior, but it's in reverse. So it's not working. But if I feel like for someone that's the outside person kind of looking at the situation. So maybe there needs to be some sort of balance, right? Temperance. This is you Sagittarius. Okay. Um, you need to tell this person if you're involved or become involved, what, well, who, how this X is, because it might end up causing a tower moment in the situation if you're not honest about it. Okay. Six of wands, six of wands is having a successful, passionate, um, <laughs> beginning. Like he looks like he's playing with his wand <laughs> and this one. So, I mean, but he looks happy, right? So, um, this isn't working anymore. This manipulation from the past is, is allowing you to move the fuck on, right? Um, I just feel like you need to be honest with your partner about this for, because this person is also after money. I feel like an ex is after money because they see you doing better. Um, see how she looks like the bridezilla bitch, right? She's got everybody on like little puppet strings and fucking, you know, making everybody do what she wants them to. Um, Wow, hold on. Seven of Pentacles. Everybody, I feel like <laughs> there's just a lot of patience with this energy, but the manipulation isn't working anymore. Page of Wands. So this is a message coming in. Whether it's you giving the message or... um, And I just flipped this and it was justice. So there's a message of justice coming into you. Things, uh, karma, possibly this ex going through karma could be a Libra, but the scale is balancing out in the situation. Um, I'm going to get my Yin and Yang Oracle deck out and see if we have a few more messages for you. These are my, um, Oracle cards are more towards like love based situations. Through the world. Okay. Do we have any more messages for what is that? Hold on. <laughs> the chariot. That's fucking weird. All right. So maybe this is involving a cancer or is there cancer some coming in towards you? Maybe that's the energy of the energy coming in towards you. Having a breakthrough. So yeah, maybe there's a cancer. <laughs> coming in feminine energy or this is your energy three came out so um leo aries sagittarius renewal from the past so a person could be um a leo aries sagittarius or this could be your energy and then um the dark night of the soul so this is basically you have been through the dark night of the soul maybe this energy from the past is coming back now, but I feel like, yeah, you've already been through the dark night of the soul with this person. I feel like it's that person trying, cause this is Leo energy over here. I'm picking up strong Leo. All right. So just stay focused. You're going to have a rebirth of a situation or, um, abundance in the winter. Okay. Um, but I feel like this is possibly like, maybe a, I don't know. I don't know. What is this rebirth card? I don't get like relation. Okay. There's some sort of an attraction. Maybe if you two are in a distance or things like maybe things are still kind of like going to be messy for you for a little while. Maybe this is going to like come together in the winter, which is not that far away. Okay. Presence, um, stay in the present moment, be grateful, 
That's how we get abundance, right? Um, you'll be getting messages in your dreams, so pay attention, possibly, like, or you already have been. I want to draw another card on this. Well, rebirth, so. Cold, inner child, masculine. So maybe there's a masculine energy that's working on some um, inner child issues that have made them really cold, and maybe that's why. Maybe there's going to be some sort of rebirth with this energy, masculine energy. If it's not yours, it's the other person's. Maybe they're doing some healing and will be ready to like come towards you. Yeah, they're still suffering from the past, okay, and have like doubts, maybe self-esteem issues. They're isolating after going, isolating after going through a period of partying a lot too. So maybe. Um, you just don't have a way to, if you haven't met this person, I feel like because of what's gone on with them in the recent past, they're just not out a lot anyway. So just the timing is going to be hard for y'all to even meet if you haven't met yet. That's why it's going to maybe take um, time or it won't happen until sometime closer to the winter. All right. Let's see. What other messages do we have for Sagittarius in the marketing for the month of September 2020? These are my rebel deck, my rude and crude oracle cards, just extra messages of spiritual enlightenment for you, Sagittarius. All right, stop talking, shut your mouth and listen. <laughs> okay, um, and this is basically. You know, if you're going around asking people for advice and not listening, right? So this is just maybe like listen or go out into nature, pray, um, seek for, you know, that wisdom within, all right, and God through the universe and listen. Um, what is this? Stop fucking whining. No one wants to uh, listen to that shit. Complaining makes you weak. You have the strength to change your world to do it. Like, all right, so this is a little harsh, okay? <laughs> so the complaining makes you weak. I don't like that. I just... I feel like it's a little insulting, so I'm not trying to insult you or say that. But it is true. We do have the power to change everything in our world, so do it. So my spin on this is basically like, you know, why waste time worrying or bitching about things when you have the power to change them and complaining about things? So it's like, let's talk about the solution of the instead of complaining about what is wrong with the situation, right? Okay, spend your time on someone worth it. Don't waste it on ridiculousness. So this is basically um, a connection. Like, Don't chase people that don't want you, um, that aren't trying to give you any attention or pay attention to you. Basically, this is just being the energy of only like spending time or giving to people that are trying to give back to you, okay? Don't waste it on things that aren't worth it. All right, so that's going to be it for you guys. I hope the reading was helpful. Until next time, lots of love and light. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment on my channel to show your love and support. Also, if you'd like to donate to my channel or contact me for any reason at all, that information is also going to be in the description box below. Until next time, love and light. Bye.